Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today I'm going to give you a quick look at the Holman Handcrafted Collection. Once they kind of moved into premium Bibles and really started going for that next level and started adding the bells and whistles and the art gilding and the perimeter gold and the edge lining and all these things, they really went for it. But there are some inconsistencies between each one, so I kind of want to show you. This is the Ancient Faith Study Bible. This is probably my favorite Bible in the collection for several reasons. Number one, I really like the cover of this one. Number two, I love the content. The ancient faith content in this is just outstanding. First of all, this goat skin is kind of matte in its finish. Really pebbly. I just love it. I love their spine work as well. Their perimeter stitching is really good. But check out the spine work. That's kind of reminiscent of an Allen to where they don't raise the hubs. They simply tool them out. They only did three, but it still looks really sharp. And each segment has gold stamping information on it. CSB, Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible, and Holman. I really wish they would have taken one of these off, like maybe taken the Christian Standard Bible off, because most people know the CSB is the Christian Standard Bible, and added Ancient Faith, so you'll know which Bible you're dealing with. Because you, as you can see, none of these Bibles, you don't know which one is which. So which one's the Ancient Faith, which one's the single column, we don't know. So it would have been nice to have that information on the spine. When we move into the liner, it's really soft, and this is a very, very floppy cover. So really nice, thick, Perimeter gold here, decent corners. Edge lining, pretty well done. Here's something interesting they did on this one, is they glued the end sheet and the fly leaf together. Now I'm gonna show you how they've been kind of all over the place on how to handle their end sheet. I have reviewed this Bible, so I'll go ahead and link all of these in the description because I don't wanna do a review and waste your time there. I just wanna kind of show you an overview. So this one has that jarring yellow paper that's supposed to kind of look antiqued but I actually like it. Some people really kind of get bothered by it because they don't feel it's premium paper, but I dig it. And it does also kind of diminish the art gilding there because that paper is so dark, but it's still rather beautiful. So now let's take a look at the single column wide margin. Of course, you're gonna have the same spine work, but then look at the cover, very different. This one almost has an ironed down, like flattened look to where some of the pebbly has been smoothed out. And it's also a lot stiffer. I mean, look at the difference between the stiffness. I know it's hard to see on camera, but if you can just see, I'm gonna put the same effort and you can see that this is a much stiffer cover. I believe part of the reason of that is because they used a different liner. Um, check out the differences in the liner here. This is really shiny and kind of floppy and this one's really stiff. So uh, that's a little odd to me. Another thing they did is you notice the edge lining is a bit thicker on this one. Not sure why they went that route, maybe because they thought this is a thicker Bible, but so is this one. They're about the same thickness. And again, glued the end sheet to the fly leaf. Not sure why they did that. Of course, beautiful single column layout, poetic settings, and then in the reader settings or in the narrative settings, it's gonna be in a paragraph format. This is beautiful. They use really nice ribbons on both of these. So now let's move into the CSB verse by verse. Now this was a little bit before the handcraft. They actually have a brown one and I reviewed that one. I'll put it in the description, but I gave that one to a friend. So I won't have that one to review for today. And again, you have kind of a different liner. This is really rough and stiff. This one's kind of floppy. It's even different than this one. It's kind of just like they're all over the place in the materials that they use. And again, same concept, they glued the end sheet to the fly leaf. You have a really nice, about an inch and a quarter margin here. Double column, verse by verse layout. Words of Christ are in black. So now let's move into one more, and that is the CSB Study Bible. Now when I got this one, the gilding was dinged up, and it seems to have been a recurring problem. Several people were complaining about the gilding being dinged up in this. And then this one, check it out. Okay, you've got kind of your floppy goat skin here, your, your floppy goat skin here, really thick, stiff goat skin here. And then we have like a spongy, thick, it's just weird. None of these are bad. It's just that none of them are consistent. So then you move into the liner. This one has more of the shiny liner, like we saw in the Ancient Faith. A little more floppy, but because of that thick, thick cover, you can see it doesn't flop as well as this. So it's really strange. And then they made a strange choice they went with this kind of curved edge line, which I actually think is rather beautiful. So nice touch with that. But then 
they didn't glue the end sheet to the fly leaf and then they put another end sheet there. I'm not quite following that, but this is an amazing study Bible, the CSB study Bible. Awesome notes, really thorough, gives you all kinds of information. Again, I'll put all the stuff in the video description. And then lastly, we have the KJV study Bible. The KJV study Bible, again, super shiny goat skin. So when you look at all of the goat skins, I mean, it's just like every single one of them are different. I think they don't use the same distributor each time. Each liner is a little bit different. Each level of floppiness is a little bit different. The edge lining here is that curve. And then once again, they didn't glue the end sheet to the fly leaf and they gave us an extra end sheet. I'm not sure why they did that. So in conclusion, the Holman Handcrafted Collection is very well done. It's just not very consistent. So if you find one that you like, you may be a little frustrated with the next one because it's probably not going to be exactly the same. Now they are going to be releasing the King James single column very soon and that's going to look similar to the CSB single column. But I really do hope they find some consistency in their material so that we can know what to expect. There you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on this unit was worth.